there, you can see the water line on the side of this building. There was a ton of rain that came down here overnight. It buried those air conditioner units. You can see the water still left behind in this yard today. Now there is a creek on the other side of those shrubs. It overflowed, causing several homes to flood. The cell phone video of Miller Avenue shows it underwater. We've been here for 18 years and um, it's never, never been this bad. This neighborhood hit hard by flash flooding Sunday night. <laughs> Neighbors left pumping out basements, cleaning out mud and debris. I mean, the whole street, it looked like a lake down here. And my basement started filling and finally, um, the firemen came down with a boat and they said it'd probably be best if I leave. John Williams was rescued by boat, returning today to find four feet of water in his basement. I have a chest freezer in my basement. It was actually floating and touching my basement ceiling. So pretty much everything on our basement's pretty much a total loss. Williams' neighbor across the street dealing with the same thing. These garage and motorcycles now covered in mud were submerged. This brand new Corvette was underwater and is now totaled. And we just thought it was just a regular rain. And then a couple hours later, here comes the big, that creek down there flooded. Ron Corvinko said his rec room was destroyed. The water also heavily damaged the Uniontown Rotary Walk. Neighbors tell me they're focusing on cleaning up what they can today, as the city brings in dumpsters tomorrow to load up debris. Hey, I was in the Marines and typhoons, you know? And uh, never saw nothing like this. In Uniontown, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.